Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. This is episode 24. Um, It is Friday night. It is a beautiful, stormy night. I'm talking about that rain is coming down. All right, so um, I'm loving it. And it's not that cold, so very comfortable out there. Um, I went out to throw out the garbage I stayed out there a little longer than I should have, came back soaking wet. I shouldn't be doing that either because everybody's been sick in this house and I'm out here trying to get sick. Not good, not good. So anyway, I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you had an incredible week. I hope you have some cool plans for the weekend or maybe you just want to chill. That's what I like to do. When I'm not on the road, I like to kick back and chill out. I don't really watch TV. If I do, I watch some YouTubes or... Once in a while, we'll binge on um, a show. Like So what we'll do is, since I work crazy hours, right, so I'm usually at my desk by, I don't know, 5.30, 6 a.m., I try to shut down before midnight. That wasn't, that's not always the case. Sometimes I look at the time and it's about 1 a.m., uh, but other than that, I try to um, I try to shut down before midnight. But, um, uh, and when I do, after I take a shower, I got to lay back, I got to kind of get into... Um, I got to kind of get, you know, break away mentally because I'll sit there and start thinking about work. I'll think about everything was going on. I'll start thinking about what I got to do tomorrow, things that I forgot to do today and that I got to knock out. Now I can't knock out because it's a weekend. So that means I got to wait till Monday. So I start getting all the stuff that running through my head. So I, I got to watch something. So I'm not going to sit there for two hours to watch a movie. That's very rare. I, I might go in the living room and you know watch something during the, the middle of the day on a, on, a, on a Saturday, really, or Sunday, just me and Angel, you know, Netflix and chill, but real Netflix and chill. I'm talking about we sitting down, watching Netflix and chilling, okay, <laughs> and, and eating some snacks. But anyway, um, <clears throat> um, but, but what I try to do is what we'll do is we'll go online. And, I mean, we'll go on to like Netflix or even Amazon Prime and we'll try to find a, a series that we want to kind of like get into. And that's good because it's only going to give me some of them on an hour, half hour, 45 minutes. But at least an hour. It's not a two-hour movie because I know I'm not going to stay up that late. And I'll watch something. And uh, we'll start a new series. It usually takes me, I don't know, about half an hour to know whether I like it. That's the whole thing, man. We'll We'll get into something. We'll see it. We'll talk about it all week. Let's go. We're going to watch that. Okay, too. Cool. Let's watch... Let's watch that show we saw the, the, the trailer for. Him. We get, you know, we kind of, we chill, everybody, you know, we're sitting back and start it. 30 minutes in, I'm like, I, I can't, I can't do it, man. So I'm, I'm always the one that messes it up. She's usually good. Like, she'll sit there and watch anything. Me, I, first of all, I really don't want to get into a comedy. If I get into a comedy, it has to be a real, like, it can't be that make-believe shit, you know what I mean? I can't have, I just can't do it, man. You know, I'm just, you know, back in the days, yeah, I could do the stupid comedies, man. Now, I just, I can't do it, man, <laughs> you know? Um, if I'm going to get into something stupid comedy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch like an adult cartoon, like a family guy or something. And I know because it's a cartoon, I know it's not real. But whenever I see a regular movie, it's got to have some sort of realness to it. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, uh, I like, uh, I love dramas. I love, um, pretty gritty stories. Like, I, I, I watch the shit that will probably put most people to sleep, you know? Um, once in a while I'm in a mood for a thriller, you know? Um, anything business or maybe technology or kind of artsy. Like, I love, like, Mad Men. I kind of, I, I geeked out on that. Um, I love that movie. I mean, that show. Uh, there's a few others. I just kind of don't remember um, 
the titles, but I love stuff like that, I man. That's the stuff that I can, uh, I can really get into it. You know, it's real. It kind of gets me, uh, gets me uh, thinking. It's Mad Men. I like, uh, especially because it took place in the '60s, which was a really, really highlight time for advertising. So I've always been fascinated by that stuff. You know what I mean? But so anyway, that's you know, that's that's us. That's how we we do stuff. And and you know, I'll watch. Sometimes I'll make it to the end of even an episode, but then I'll finish the next day, and, and that's it. And I'll, so it'll take me a while to to um, kind of binge. Uh, those shows and uh, and that's that's pretty much how we how we do that. But uh, other than that, today was cool. Um, I had to go into the house because Angel was hearing a noise in the on the dryer in the dryer, and um, apparently some coins fell down the little chute where you let you pull out to clean the lint, um, and it was making the. It's created a smell like the from the heat. I guess it was hitting something, um, and w- what a pain to try to get that thing. I had to take the whole top off, and then we 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 literally turned the dryer upside down to get there. And it was like three coins that popped out, and then it was fixed. So I remember that happened to us one time before. Um, to, don't get it twisted, guys. I do zero, zero freaking, you know maintenance or fixing or mechanical I'm the worst now I'm never gonna front that I'm good at any of that stuff man my house right now needs a paint job um, because I, I hate to paint so I will get somebody in here so we just gotta find the right time to get the crew up in here when the weather changes a little bit right now it's real wet and humid um, real really wet because it's real damp because of the, so much rain but man I don't I don't you know I don't like to do any of that stuff, tell you honestly, man. It's just, it kills me, you know? So I do stuff because I have to do it, you know? I wish I was I wish I was a handy guy. You know, I put up a frame, I put a, a, a picture up, and I will step back 10 times and try to straighten it. If I have to cut some wood and I have to make two pieces of wood fit together in an angle, I will cut that wood 100 times and it still wouldn't fit. And then come to find out I was cutting it backwards. It's weird, man. Like, I just can't get into it. Now, um, if you look at my video logs, my vlogs, you'll see there's a backdrop. I got some shelves up. Now, those shelves I put up, and most of them are crooked. You just won't notice because of the way I laid them out and the angle that I have and the stuff that I have on the shelves. And they're, they're not that bad. I actually use a lever that's weird too because I use a lever, it looks perfect, but when I finally go and put the screw in, it's like it moves it. So I'm I'm so bad with that stuff, man. You know, um, I bring uh, electricians in. My nephew's a plumber. I don't I don't do any of that stuff, you know. And, and what's crazy is that I'll tell you why. Like, I'm mentally screwed up when it comes to fixing stuff because for some reason, every time I go to fix something. I break it. I make it worse. Stuff that probably could have just used a little, like, I got to screw something in. Guess what? I'm going to screw it too tight. I'm going to break it. I'll give you an example. A while ago, my, nep- my, um, my nephew's a plumber. My shower started to leak on the handle. And my nephew couldn't come right away. And I, it looked like it was a simple job. I went on, on YouTube, and I Googled, and I saw what they were doing. And it was one of those round ball handles that's just one and so it looks simple I took that thing off and I couldn't put it back together I couldn't put it back back together um and I ended up breaking I forgot what it was I broke I broke something inside and it's we the leak got even bigger so I had to go and the thing is I have like the main valve I didn't have a valve just for that shower I have a main valve so when I turn the water off it shuts all the water off in the house. So I'm like, oh man, now what? So we got to use the shower if we got to, you know, take a bath, whatever. We got to turn that on and I had to close the shower and I had to put something over it to keep the water controlled. And I put a bin there until my nephew came. When he came, he looked and started laughing. He was like, what the hell did you do? I'm, and I told him, he goes, man, you didn't have to do that. He goes, you buy the piece. You don't have to re- reassemble it. It pops back in. I'm like, man, I didn't know. I I guess the YouTube I went, they showed me how to 
you know, put it back together. I didn't know I could buy the piece already together and just kind of like pop it in there. So I ruined that whole shower, you know? So until we got it fixed, he had to, I had to cut the other side. He said, he told me, listen, just cut the wall, expose it for me. And I did that little label because he doesn't charge me. Uh, I always offer him, don't get me wrong. I don't take advantage, but he doesn't take money from me. But, um, so I cut the wall and he went in there. He, uh, put these little clamps on the pipe so they don't run until we're able to fix all the inside. So, so we did that. Um, and I, I mean, that's what I did a, uh, my dishwasher one time for some reason, it just, the water wasn't going down and the dishwasher kept flooding. And I thought I knew what I was doing. And I tried to get underneath the little mechanism where the water was flooding and I popped it. I actually broke the plastic or whatever that's made of inside. So I messed it up. Uh, Man, I could go. I can give you guys a list of the stuff. I'm just not that dude. I'm just not that dude. You know, painting. When I have to approach a paint job, and I don't anymore. I, I always pay somebody, bring somebody in. When I have to approach a paint job, I do everything perfectly. I lay down the stuff. I tape down the stuff on the floor. I wear the right outfit. I throw a hat on. I'm very careful when I'm mixing the paint. I'm putting everything where it goes. I'm pouring it carefully into the pan. I'm slowly rolling the, the roller. But no matter what, I don't know how it happens. I end up with paint on my elbow. And I always end up touching my elbow with my hand to see if there's paint on it. And then from there, for some reason, I end up wiping the sweat from my forehead. And I put paint on that. Man, the next thing you know, I have paint everywhere. I don't, and I'm, I'm telling you, I approached it like my mind frame is this, okay? Almost like a challenge. And I'm actually excited because I'm like, you know what? Watch this. I'm going to paint this whole thing. I'm not going to get any paint on the floor. I'm not going to get no paint on me. It's going to be a cool, because I remember seeing my brother-in-law Al paint. He might as well have wore a tuxedo when he painted. It's like he didn't get paint on anything but the wall. And it was perfect. Perfect. I mean, he had this two-tone thing going on and he was lining this stuff up with not even with tape. It was crazy. So I said, man, yo. And, and I remember asking, I was like, how do you do that? And he said, patience. He said, you have to take your sweet time. He goes, it's going to take a lot longer than you think, but you got to take your time. And I tried that. It doesn't work for me. Next thing you know, man, when we're done with the paint job, paint job is like, okay. Looks like I need another coat. I always end up stepping in paint. So you see footprints all over the place. I got it on my elbows. I got it on my forehead. I got it on my eyes. My, my eyelashes got paint. My clothes got paint. It's crazy. It's horrible. I can't stand. Like, if you want to punish me, tell me that you need me to paint your place and you're going to punish me, you know? So it's crazy, <laughs> but um, that mechanic work I can't do. Um, I don't mess with any of that stuff, man. I put windshield wipers, I break them. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to call it. So it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. You know, I feel like a damsel in distress. Sometimes my car used to break down. I used to call call my boys. Yo, man, they used to come over and it'd be like the simplest thing. Yo, you need oil. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> you know? I mean, my nephew did that too one time when we moved down here. I was parking lot call. I said, yo, Eddie, man, freaking car's not starting, man. I don't know what the problem is. He goes, I'll be right there. I was broken down, like, right in front of, I think, a, a Dollar General or something like that. And then he went in there. He looked under my head. He goes, come on, man. He goes, you got no damn oil, man. Look at the oil. You got no oil. This thing is choking. <laughs> and he went into the thing, pulled out some oil, <laughs> put it in. Gave it a minute, boom, car started up. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm bad, man. I'm bad when it comes to that stuff. So, but um, other than that, um, computers, I'm pretty good. Like, I love computers. Um, I love all that stuff. That's that's kind of stuff I get. I don't like to build them. I can, I can. Um, but I'm more of a, a software dude. I like. I like the software. I could use, I could do almost everything. I could pretty much handle any kind of graphic program and uh, audio program and um, t uh, management, any kind of, you know, uh, marketing stuff that I do. 
so I'm pretty good with that stuff but don't give me anything else you know so but uh, uh besides that everything's cool everything's real cool um just want to get on here real quick man and give you guys a shout see how you guys are doing and um Thank you again for uh, hanging in there, man. Hanging with me. So, I mean, episode 24. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And um, I'm, I'm good. I could I could, I could, could do this. I could definitely go the distance, you know. Um, I'm thinking of tomorrow maybe opening up. Let me see. Tomorrow's the 25th. Maybe the 26th opening up the Facebook page. I just want to get enough content in there. So that way, you know, people could go on there and they kind of spend a little time and kind of see the different podcasts and the different episodes so um if you guys could share that stuff that's real cool once it's up you know so share it whatever you can do to help um uh, i want to get to a point where i'm able to give content that will really kind of help people out people who are interested in breaking in um even artists who have been in it for a while um you know maybe promoters kind of giving them an idea or want to be promoters on how to deal with the artists or, you know, certain things that they probably are not sure about, you know. I'm really open, you know, people sometimes are scared to ask me questions because they feel that the questions are so elementary, like everybody should know them, but you'd be surprised. A lot of people don't know the basic, the most basic questions. So, you know, definitely feel free. In fact, I like answering the questions. It's a challenge, and you know what? If I don't know it, because I haven't run across, though, a question that I don't know, not when it comes to bookings and stuff, um, but if I don't, if I do, there might have been one. I forgot what it was about, um, or that I'm not sure, or I only know my way, but there's, I know there's another way of doing it. Um, but uh, if I don't know, I'm not going to front like I do. I'm going to say, hey, I, I'm not sure. But let me check a couple of my resources. So I have people I can actually call or um, just stuff. Sometimes I just need a little time to think about it. Um, some stuff is just plain common sense. Uh, but other than that, uh, I, I pretty much I pretty much got this, you know. So anyway, all right, guys, I appreciate you. Uh, make sure to tune in tomorrow. Make sure to follow me on all social media platforms. Make sure to share. If you like this stuff, hopefully you do share it. Um, keep in mind also the next day, like right now, I'm I'm uh, recording this in the evening of the 24th. So tomorrow morning or within the day tomorrow, I'll end up um, uploading this episode onto YouTube as well. And I do that also so that way... Um, it's, it's a lot easier for people to grab hold of the links and if they just want to kind of sit there and binge on YouTube or, you know, put it on on their TV and in, in their in their house or in their room or whatever on their phone, they can do it pretty easy. So that's why I do it, you know, and to add content to that YouTube channel. So keep a variety of stuff that we got going on. But all right, so I just want to give you guys. So if you do go onto YouTube, make sure please subscribe it. Hit the little bell notification so that way you get it. It lets you know when something new comes up. It'll either be the podcast or maybe the new vlogs I have coming up. Um, also, always like, please. Um, it really helps me out. It helps. Uh, it lets me know that people are interested. And if you have any questions, that's the place. You can ask them there. Ask me in, on any platform you see me. Just, just ask. Okay? All right, guys. So, until tomorrow night, be cool. And good night, freestyle. Down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.